Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my most requested video. Everyone has been flooding my DMs asking for a what I eat in a day video. So I'm here to bring it to you guys as my first video back on this channel. Yeah, as you guys saw, I woke up this morning feeling really good because I went to bed early last night. So I've been trying to do that more because I just feel so much better the next day and I can wake up earlier and just feel more energized and better. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. I upload so many what I eat in a day videos. I really like to cook. I like to try out new recipes most of the time healthier recipes sometimes not so healthy just depends what i'm feeling but yeah today's video we have like a lot of really good stuff i'm so hungry right now so thinking about all the things i'm going to be eating today is getting me really hyped up i got a new camera so i'm still trying to like figure out how to like get good angles and like film with it because it's brand new this morning we're gonna have oatmeal so let's just get started on it i want to go eat it on my balcony because it's like a really nice day out it's not too hot so let's get to making these oats all right these are the oats Oats that I'm gonna use just some quick oats and then I have a peach we're gonna do like a peaches and cream which I actually have Greek yogurt in the fridge I'll get that later I'm gonna top it off with some sliced almonds and some shredded coconut I'm gonna make it with water and then I'm gonna add some almond milk at the end but I wanted to say this is my favorite almond milk so good the simply almond in vanilla um, I'm gonna make it on the stove top because I'm feeling extra today. drenched in almond milk oh my god all right now that i picked that all up round two here we go let's just add a little bit of almond milk in there mix it up and i'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit before i put it in a bowl recording the finished product on my phone because my camera somehow died. I do not know how, I swear it was fully charged, but we're rolling with it. Good thing I have a good camera on my phone. Um, this is the yogurt I put on top. It's kind of like a peaches and cream oatmeal, super good. This yogurt has 25 grams of protein and it honestly doesn't taste that bad. It's like a protein Greek yogurt. And then I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of honey. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, with my left hand at that. Hello, I don't have all day. Okay, I got a new honey from my pantry because that was taking way too long. I'm gonna try and drizzle some honey across, make it look pretty. I've been loving oatmeal recently because I forgot how easy it is to make in the mornings. So I'm gonna go have this on my balcony and read a book. Okay, so after breakfast, I let my camera charge up and I went to the gym. I actually just got back. I did a back and bicep workout today and then I did like a little bit of cardio at the end. Kind of just been chilling on my computer for a little bit. I just recently got, this is unrelated, but I just recently got an iPad Pro and I'm trying to figure out how to get comfortable using Photoshop on the iPad because I use Photoshop on my computer to edit thumbnails and certain things, but I don't know how to use it exactly on the iPad. So I've been trying to figure that out. I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Built Bar. Um, I actually had a Built Bar on my way to the gym, just as like some pre 
gym fuel i had the cookies and cream one if you guys have never heard of built bar before they have such delicious protein bars they have so many flavors to choose from they will definitely have something that you like and i love their packaging because it's just like a box of like rainbow bars i love the cookies and cream one i feel like that's one that a lot of people would really like i also really love the fruity ones like the cherry one the raspberry one i don't know if this is new or not but they have in this box that they recently sent me where is it a strawberry one which i have never had before it's like a little baby pink it's so good like i said i really like the fruity ones um but they have like so many chocolate ones on their website as well for you guys to choose from they have really good macros and they kind of taste like a candy bar um every single time i post about these in my videos i always get dms from you guys being like oh my god i ordered built bar and i am hooked because they're so good and if you guys click the link in my description box you'll get a discount on your order which i highly recommend doing it's funny i'm filming this video right now with my built bar box and i stopped at the mail room on the way back from the gym i don't want to show my address because i've done that before but look at what was in the mail another built bar box <laughs> i'm so excited i switch up when i have them throughout the day sometimes in the morning sometimes before a workout sometimes after a workout sometimes as a dessert like it really just depends on my mood for the day but yeah i highly recommend checking out built bar like i said there's something for everyone they make delicious protein bars you guys will not be disappointed if you order them I can't decide if i want to shower first or if i want to make lunch first but i'm thinking i don't know so I decided to go with making it before because I'm actually really hungry. I'm so hungry that I'm having a snack before or while I make my lunch. Having these fire roasted tomato and olive oil triscuits. These are so good. This actually looks bomb. Like a avocado corn salsa with it would be so good. I'm just having it. Did I just zoom in? Oh my god, I just zoomed in crazy. I don't know how to use this camera. I'm having it with some spicy hummus on the side. That's what it looks like. Okay, now that I figured out how to zoom out, I actually forgot I'm going to make my own dressing, which sounds intimidating, but it's actually going to be really easy. Like, it's not that hard. I'm using my food processor for it, which I don't use often, and I love this thing. I'll leave one down below, or this one that I use. You can also use a blender, too, if you don't have one. Um, but for this, you're going to need mayo. I'm going to leave all the exact measurements down below. Mayo, a little bit of Greek yogurt, some olive oil, honey, lime jalapeno, fresh garlic, and cilantro. I might end up doing two limes. The juice of two limes depends on how much juice I get out of them. Alright, I just prepped so many things for this salad and I'm actually gonna heat up some more stuff on the stovetop. There's a lot of elements. Sorry if you hear my fridge, but there's a lot of stuff going on in this salad, but it's gonna be so good. Um, I did cherry tomato. These are little fresh mozzarella balls. I didn't do too many. I just cut them in half because I don't want them to be like super chunky in the salad. And then I have red onion, avocado. I totally forgot to mention, but I am cooking the quinoa right now. This is the one that I'm using. It's just the tricolor. Oh, sorry. You guys got all foggy. The tricolor quinoa boil in a bag. It's just so easy because you just put it in the bag 
it boils and then in 10 minutes it's done. It has a minute and 43 seconds left. So that's super easy. I'm gonna heat up in this pan some corn, a little bit of black beans, and the chicken that I had prepped from the day before, which is literally just, literally just rotisserie chicken. I don't even know where I put it, but it's somewhere in my fridge. Okay, we're back in my office. Hopefully I can find a good YouTube video to watch while I have this beautiful quinoa salad. Originally when I was gonna make this, I was gonna add chickpeas into it, but since I added the chicken already, that's like the protein of the meal. So I didn't really need to, and I was just being a little bit lazy because I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. It doesn't look the most beautiful when you like mix it all together, but there's literally so many colors in this salad and it tastes so good you really don't even need that much of the dressing that we made and that dressing can be used for the next couple of days on literally anything you want it's so delicious you guys need to make that as well but yeah this is my lunch i'm gonna have it with a kombucha let's see health aid kombucha and watermelon i like kombucha not too much but i try and get myself to drink like half of one of these a day but yeah i'm just going to sit in my office and enjoy my gorgeous lunch and i will talk to you guys in a little bit when it's time for dinner hi guys this is future molly coming in to explain the next couple of clips for dinner and dessert. So originally when I filmed this video, I filmed a like honey mustard chicken wrap for dinner and it turned out disgusting. So instead of refilming a whole video and not using the good recipes that I had for breakfast and lunch, I'm going to insert right now a healthy dinner recipe that I made like a couple days before I filmed this video. It was supposed to be for a different video that now I'm just gonna refilm that one. Does that make sense? Because I just didn't want to give you guys a whole recipe that ended up being really gross. I'm going to try and remake it because it sounded so good, but it just didn't turn out right. So I'm going to try and remake it for next week's What I Eat in a Day. Yeah, I hope you guys understand this recipe that I'm going to show you is so good. It's like these zucchini pesto chicken boats. And then there's a delicious dessert as well that I filmed that day that I'm going to insert too because it's one of my favorites. So you guys are still going to get a good dinner and dessert recipe. And hopefully I can perfect the honey um, mustard wraps for next week. But yeah, you guys will see me with like no eyelashes, different nail polish color, different hair, and you're gonna be like, what is this? So I just have to be honest with you and let you know what's going on. But I hope you still enjoy, so let's get into it. I am in full on comfy mode now, but it is time for dinner. Yeah, I'm just really relaxed. I'm about to light a bunch of candles and start making dinner. I'm making these like zucchini stuffed boats but I'm gonna make them with like chicken pesto, tomatoes, top it with like avocado. I love zucchini and it's summer, so I feel like this is a good recipe to do around this time. So yeah, I'm gonna grab all the ingredients and I'll show you guys everything that you need. You honestly don't need that many things. All right, first thing on the list of ingredients you need is a lemon, so I'm gonna grab one of those. We have some yellow onion. I'm using three zucchinis, obviously I'm not gonna eat all of this tonight, but I'm just gonna have leftovers for tomorrow, make things easier on myself. So I'm gonna cut up three zucchini. Um, I have thin sliced chicken breast. I just like the thin sliced one because it's a lot easier to cut and cook. I have some pesto here. This one is really good, basil pesto, and then some cherry tomatoes. And that's all I'm adding in, but you can add other things as well. This is just kind of, what I had in my fridge. So I'm gonna start off by cutting these zucchinis in half and I'm gonna put them in this baking dish that I have right here. I'm preheating the oven to 425. I'm actually not following a recipe either, so keep that in mind. I'm just like winging it, so at the end I might tell you guys to do something different. I don't really know. Never up, never down, never. 
Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Okay, stunning. Literally, as soon as I started recording, the oven is preheated and ready to go. Like I said, I'm just winging this, so I'm gonna put them in for probably like 15 minutes. I want them to get soft, but not like completely cooked all the way through because we're gonna put the chicken on top and then bake it for longer. So I want them to get a little pre-cooked before we add all the fillings in and kind of like carve out the middle a little bit with a spoon. Let's go ahead and put these bad boys in the oven. I can see everything clearer. Trying to fly because I'm light as a feather. But I can't hide, I can't low at the same time. Feels so right, then I'm wrong. Hoping I'll be fine. But I get out, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I just added this into my chicken and I want to let you guys know I always add this to my chicken it just makes it taste way more juicy and way better in my opinion just a little added tip if you guys are wondering what the heck that was and then as for seasonings I'm just gonna keep it really simple because there's a lot of flavors going on with the pesto and everything so I'm just gonna use this tropical seasoning it's kind of like an adobo and add a bunch of that you could also do like lemon pepper. I bet that would be good. It smells so good. Oh my God, I'm gonna mix this up and then we'll get to cooking this. All right, full disclosure, I did not do this exactly how you're supposed to. I finally read a recipe and you're supposed to scoop the zucchini um, middle part out before you bake it. I did not do that, as we all know, but I'm okay with that. I'm kind of just having like a zucchini bake, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna put this back in the oven for like, I don't know, probably like 10 minutes or so, just let everything kind of warm up together. I am so excited for this. I love pesto, so I know I'm gonna love it. I love zucchini too, so it's just right up my alley. I added a little bit of feta on top, but literally all I did, you guys, was bake the zucchini, then to the chicken. After the chicken was cooked with the onions, I added in the tomato, and then put everything on top, topped it with feta, and that's it. And then at the end, I'm gonna add some avocado. And I'm also trying, just to let you guys know, to drink a lot of water. This is my fifth cup today, which, isn't the best, but it's really good for me because I'm so bad about drinking water. So I'm gonna fill that up again. But yeah, we're almost done. Literally smells 
divine. All right, everyone, here is the final plating. I am so annoying for trying to make it look cute because like how can you possibly make this look cute? I did the best that I could with what I had, but here is my dinner. I will report back in with you guys in a little bit when I have dessert because I'm definitely gonna have dessert. Something I've been obsessed with recently that I'm excited to show you guys, but I'll pop back in a little bit. When I have that, I'll let you know if this is good or not. I can't imagine it would be bad. So the lighting is trash right now and I look like a little boy, so I apologize for my appearance, but I'm coming on to let y'all know that I am gonna be making this every week. Oh my God, it is literally so good. I am so happy right now. If you like pesto and zucchini, you gotta make this. Hello everyone. I just cried my eyes out watching a sad movie. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I wanted to show you guys me making my dessert. So you're just gonna need an apple for this. I'm gonna wash this off. I like the Honeycrisp apples. <laughs> I can't believe I was just crying so much over a movie. Apple has been washed. We're gonna cut it up in a second, but you're gonna need some yogurt of your choice. Preferably like a vanilla or this one's coconut, so that's fine too, but you can do, you know, almond milk yogurt. I'm using Greek yogurt because I really like it and it has like the added protein in it, so I'm all for that. And then you're gonna need some peanut butter. I only have Skippy right now. I made peanut butter cookies and I used my own natural peanut butter for that and I ran out and I forgot to get more, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of Skippy. You're gonna mix equal parts of the peanut butter and the Greek yogurt together. I'm just using this jar to do it. You're gonna get like a whipped peanut butter consistency. It's so good, trust me. When I was assembling this, I'm like, Molly, you seriously need to get a life because <laughs> I was just laughing at myself at how particular I was about the presentation. Like, it's really not that deep, girl. Here is my final meal of the night. It's way later than I like it to be. It's 11.02. It's so nice because it's like whipped peanut butter, but you have to use way less peanut butter than you normally would if you were having just like apples and plain peanut butter. So I really like it. I saw this on TikTok. That's why I started doing it. And it's so good. You guys have to try it if you haven't yet.